Hello viewers, and welcome back to Nights Into Dreams, what should be the final episode of Nights Into Dreams. In the last episode, we beat the Stick Canyon and Riala fairly easily, actually. I mean, Stick Canyon was tricky, but Riala was quite hard. Riala was easy. I was about to say Riala was quite hard then. <laughs> but, no, that wasn't the case, sadly. We're moving on to the same Twin Seeds, this time as Elliot. Now, what is supposed to happen is, do you know when you walk, well, when earlier we walked into Wise, into Knights' gazebo, but Wise Man stopped us? What essentially is happening is on one side, Elliot is going towards Knights, on the other, Claris is going. And when Wise Man knocks them back, they knock them both back. So even though it's the same layout, Knights and Elliot are on like different sides of the Twin Seeds. They're in the same dream, essentially. The dreams are linked via N Nightopia. It's it's just some little things like that that I just find really awesome. Anyway, I should clarify that I mentioned before that Riala was one of my favourite bosses. When I say favourite bosses, I actually meant as you know, my one of my favourite characters. Ah, oh, get it? As one of my favourite characters, because unfortunately his boss fight, if you know what to do, is a little too easy. Ah, oh, man, we oh, come on, we're failing horribly at the moment. That's going to be a low rank. Oh no, never mind, we've still got an A rank. Bit weird. Come on, can we get it? Ah, so close. Now we're getting close. Now we're starting to rack scores up. Look at that. 29 now. But yeah, I love Riala. I didn't really get a chance to talk about how much I loved Riala in that fight because it went so quick. Also, he was in, well, I say he once again, and Riala's just like Knights, gender neutral. But A Andronimus? That's the word, right? <laughs> I'm trying to remember now, I don't want to make an ass of myself. Just like Knights. And Riala is actually in Sonic All Stars Racing Transformed, and is one of my favourite characters. If I ever do Sonic Transformed, what I'll do is do the uh, Grand Prix and play through those. And if I can catch a bit of online, I'll do that. Because I would like to play through Sonic Transformed again. World Tour can be a bit tedious. Anyway, we're going to break through, but this time, Claris comes to help us out. And then, Knights is free. Getting ourselves the final A rank of the game. We're both knights again. Alright. See, now what's happening is when we're fighting Wiseman, that other knight is technically the knight that we played as Claris, whereas the one we're playing now is that other knight that we were, were watching as Claris, the Elliot. I love that about this. That the final levels of Claris and Elliot are, like, entwined with each other. Essentially, in Journey, it was... Exactly, they did it exactly the same way. There were a few changes to the Twin Seeds, so it was like, you know, it was more focused on one than the other. But, once again, that's for a journey, LP. Anyway, one more hit should have it. And also, I think the theme in Journey's better. Alright. Wiseman is down. Did it. Two times multiply, and now we're repeatedly kicking. Cla we're like drilling on Claris's head. Just dance, dance for me, baby. Elliot's doing a bit of ballet on Claris's face. That's certainly interesting. <laughs> Not too sure what to say about that, to be fair. But we did it.
and that's it. That's Knights in the Dreams. Knights is now going to leave Clarice and Elliot forever. Or so we think. I love that ending. It's just... The fact that Clarice and Elliot finally got to meet up. They, You might see that back in the... Final cutscenes of each character. Also, that little image we just had there of Knights with Clarice and Elliot near him, I want that as a poster. Just saying. <laughs> But when they had like the red glow, that was the idea of bravery that they had, that only they had. Well, they, some others. Like they were summoning the courage to go and do what they were doing. That's why it makes sense. And we get this really sort of cool kids act. Well, not sec, that's a different one. That is kids' version of Night Dreams Dreams. Dedicated to the players and developers of the original game. Love it. I loved it when they said. Hey, Nights in the Dreams, we're going to make it HD. I remember on the day I had my Xbox, and I was just scro you know, scrolling through the new games, as you do. It was like, what, 10 o'clock in the morning? I clicked it, and I was like, wait, Nights is out? Immediately ran up, well, I didn't run up to Tesco's, got my bike, went up to Tesco's, I had like £8 left, got the last set of Microsoft points I needed, just got it straight away, and I think I LP'd it. The first ever time I LP'd Nights in a Dream, because this is the third time, believe it or not, on like other channels, you know. You know, any LP you meet, really, apart from the odd few. I'd say about 75% of LPers have had previous channels. And I LP'd it, like, on the spot. But I thought, right, I'm not going to play through it just to see what it's like. I'm going to do it right here and now. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I think this HD remake is really awesome. And the fact that it's bringing it towards a new... A new generation, I guess. Even though, say, this game's been out for... It's like... 95, I believe it came out, so that's... That's a good 15, 16 odd years. Well, to be fair, it's 18 years, because I was born in 94. But one thing I remember seeing back when the game was announced, HD, people were like, oh, it's just a flying Sonic. It's anything but a flying Sonic. Sonic has that really quick speed, that pace, that really badass, fast feel to it. Knights is something, it's more beauty than speed. Yes, you go fast, but it's a completely different game. You can see the connections, sure, but it is definitely a different game at heart. And I just love Knights in the Dreams back on the Saturn, and now on the PS3 and Xbox 360, I'd wholeheartedly recommend that you at least get the trial, because both the trial and the full game are available on PlayStation Network and Xbox Live. Journey of Dreams, we'll probably get into at a later date, not anytime soon, but, you know, maybe in the future we will play Journey. And bear in mind, it's a quick game, it's not as quick as Nights into Dreams, but... It is still, it's fun. But not obviously not as good as Into Dreams, am I? But Into Dreams is still one of my favourite games of all time. And the fact that I can just jump in and play it at any point I wish. Like, I could just turn on my PS3 right now. Pick up the controller, turn it on. Games, nights, and I'm already playing it. It's not like the other two games I adore to high heaven, which are Skies of Arcadia and Valkyria Chronicles, which are both very RPG heavy. Where it's like, yeah, if you want to play, you're going to have to sort of work your way up. But even if I were to start a new save on Nights, I could just say, right, I'm in. Done. The bosses are really cool designs. The environments are very dream-esque. It's kind of hard to say that, but, you know, if you have, like, slight recollection of dreams as either a kid or now. Unless there's something up with you where all your dreams are messed up, I don't know. You get that. And one funny thing, before we close up, it has been said by the developers of Sega, the Sonic scene, Knights is the only video game character, to my memory, that you could actually meet. Think about that. I'm just amazed, because the idea is, Knights is like the shadow of dreams. It's how you see yourself in your dream. That's all about. That's all I've really got to say. 
That's it for this LP. That's definitely not the last we're going to see of Knights on this channel. But like if you enjoyed the video and the series, subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you on the next Let's Play.